first. Now, okay, uh, this one, can you go and create a new one first? Create a new one. Okay, so for example now, okay, we create such a simple, simple one, huh? Okay. Uh, Stella. Teach a path for now. Okay. And then Stella, Sushi, Valerie, yeah. Okay, be my home. Okay, okay. 好啦這個還很聰明的哦這裡沒有的你聽聽啊如果你這樣看的話它的max Put down, okay, and then change to fill series, okay, done, huh? okay, now, let's say, I want to, okay, let's say the, the passing rate, huh? okay, this one is, so, that's why we found 75, huh? okay, Okay, now let's say I want to know what's the difference between my marks and my passing grades. Huh? Okay, so the very simple one will be what? Equals to 什么减什么。我现在只知道知道他们的difference而已嘛,他的marks啊。Okay, so what's the, the formula? Equals to 什么? Okay. Now let's say I want I just want to know what's the difference between these marks and these marks. Okay, just a simple one, don't think too complicated first. Okay, C2 minus okay, E2, huh? Okay. okay, so I know the difference is 3 marks name, huh? Okay. Okay, now since I have already created a formula here, right? Can I double click now? Auto fill ma, fill ma, open all the while we are using, right? Okay. You see? Now when I double click, huh? So me boy, huh? Because your parents for Okay. Now, let's look at this one first. Okay, your D2, huh? Now, right now is C2 minus E2. Am I correct? Okay. So this is still okay, but when we use auto fill, right? Because by default they use what relative, right? That means if you go to the next one, then they also move your reference to the next one. You understand what I'm saying? That's why we need the dollar sign to lock it. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So if this, <coughs> if you lock it, right? You notice that this one is e two one, huh? three one, huh? huh? Okay, why? Right. But how come when I call auto fill, right? A this one become E3. Why? Because Excel by default they go by relative by referencing. Okay? So over here if you have 75, then okay lah. You see, this one they will follow lah. Correct lah. Three man. Okay? But we don't want to be so stupid and keep on doing the 75 lah. You get what I mean? Okay, so in this case, we can actually lock the formula to ask them to only refer to this one. This is when we use the dollar sign, okay? So for example now, the E2 we need to lock, right? Because this is the one we need to lock, right? Prima. Okay, so now I go to formula. Okay, you can either type the dollar sign or you can just press the F4. Okay, press F4. Press once, huh? okay? Then don't let go, uh, don't do anything first. 
Now currently, can you tell me what are they locking? Column or row? Don't know. Now, where is the dollar sign? In front of E and in front of 2, right? That means E is what? Column. Column. So now you are locking column 1. Okay? They are, they are also locking the row. Understand what I'm saying? So when you see this, that means die die, they are referring to this one only. Remember that's how when we use our name, we created a name, right? The sales, exclamation marks, and then B4 or B14. Remember that? Yeah. So now we are telling them, okay, no matter how you go, uh, auto fee or whatever, you must refer to what? E2. Understand what I'm saying? But if you say, I only want to re uh, refer to your column, uh, then you press F4 one more time. Now it's locking what? Row. Row, because it's in front of the 2. Understand what I'm saying? Then if you press one more time, now it's locking column. Okay, one more time, uh, nothing is locked. Understand what I'm saying? That's why if you use your F4, it's much easier. Okay? So, looking at this 75, which one do you think we should use? Locking both columns and row. So, this is the safest line. You understand now? Okay? Mm. So, yeah, if you put only uh, dollar sign the second, mm. uh, this one will only lock the row. Okay? Mm. Uh, lock mm. Okay? Now. Okay, now can we put it uh, two dollar sign first? So later on when we do formulas, huh? Okay, especially when you do the if or the lock look up, right? Okay, you may need to insert this dollar sign. Okay? Now so right now when I press enter, okay, nothing changed. But right? when I use auto fill, okay. So this is what we meant by the absolute addressing. Okay? Okay. So you need to refer like let's say you need to multiply with certain percentage, your interest rate or you mark up the rate. Okay. Huh? Ah, so you know lah. Uh, I think something wrong with the computer. Like, just not auto fill. So looking on this one, you can actually make use of it okay, to determine whether the student fail or pass. You know what I mean? This is one. The other one I want you say, normally you use it for what purpose? For your budget. Budget, uh, okay? Yeah. To... Uh, to so, mm. yeah, I to the, uh, interest rate. Interest rate or exchange rate. Mm. Okay? Because exchange rate is constant throughout the month. Yeah. Oh, it's not true a year. Because every month it will change. Every month it will change the currency. So this dollar sign is very important. Yes. Because you interest rate is fixed, that's why it's fixed. Then from the parameters, how do we affect the interest rate? Yeah. Okay, maybe I, to further, okay, uh, <coughs> understanding this better, right? Okay, maybe I create a table, then you all can try to do it, huh? Okay, since you say interest rate, right? Yeah, just use the simple one, huh? Okay, let's see. Okay, now nothing complicated in the formula, but do you want to try? Okay, to <clears throat> now I will use this amount to multiply the interest rate, huh? and then to calculate this one. Okay, you look in front first. Yeah, I created this table, right? Okay. Contention, uh. okay. It's quite cool. Okay. 
Okay, now I need you to find out the results for this. Okay, how much is it? I four, five, 500, right? Times five for a sense of interest rate is how much? Okay, 3%, 2% how much? Okay, and then you also have 200 and so on and so forth. So can you go and figure out how would you place the dollar sign? So that later when I auto fill uh, it's very easy. You are supposed to only create one. Eh? Okay. What I meant is you create a formula here, then you just use the auto fill. Is that your can? Okay. 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 So okay, by right, uh, you are supposed to create, okay, you are supposed to create this one first, then you can auto fill for the column D, after you can just auto fill to row 11. From this one, I can populate to here, then from I can select the three things together and auto fill okay, again. Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay, because now I did it by the B row mm. uh, downwards. Mm. So I can look the other way around. You have to look at the other way around. You have to look at the other way around. Okay, I give you one tips. Huh? I give you one tips. No, I just one by one do. Now, then I just roll down. Yeah, that's why because because she actually got one thing. Ah, she actually block two columns and row. By right, you shouldn't do that because when you do that, ah, you cannot really be flexible. So this is what we meant by a mixed referencing. Okay, relative and your 
your absolute mixed together. Okay? <笑> 不过你的答案是，哎，你的你知道是跟我一样的，反正formula有点不一样的。It's not that you cannot do that, you can do. It's just that my my method is more efficient, that because I don't care whether I drag to the right, left, top, bottom, 还是可以。你们的现在卡这只是一边可以，对吗？ Okay, uh I think this example you all better save down huh? okay well, I better pause here and show you the answer huh? okay. Oh, okay. okay, never mind. We do together. Huh? Okay. Uh, now the question is, we want to lock this and lick this. Am I correct? Okay. But if we lock both like this one, huh? Then you cannot proceed to the next one, am I correct? You mean do a while auto pin or tickle yeah, how it's a tongue pin ma? Which is why when you want to lock here, this is what? Column what? A. A, eh? So I put a dollar sign here. Lah. But should I lock the nine ah, this one? No. Because you need to go to 10, 11, 12, and so on and so forth, right? So I don't want to lock lah. Okay? Whereas for this one, okay, this row have to lock or I don't need to lock? This row have to lock or not? Lock. Have to lock, man, because you multiply 4, 3, 2 is the same row, am I correct? So my dollar sign at in front of the A, mm -hmm. But how come column B I don't want to lock? If I lock already, when I autofill, you will not times 3, you will not mm -hmm. times 2, understand? So this is what we meant by mixed referencing. 
Okay, you mix the relative and also the absolute. Okay. In fact, all this in the basic class, oh, you all oh, okay? <laughs> yeah, la, luckily you all didn't sign up for the exam one, no? Oh. <laughs> exam one end up, I'll do everything. Uh, click, 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 click. Okay, bye. <laughs> you don't pass, right? Need to, yeah. Okay, unless you retake and then you pass, then they'll still find you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this one is the okay. Maybe you want to write, you can write. Okay, mix referencing. This is the okay. Mix referencing. So this is very good example. You can save it lah. Okay, but don't save first ah, because we still get another thing need to learn. Hold it up, boy. Hold it up, boy. Okay, for those already done, okay, can you highlight D1 to D6 and then delete it? Okay. We are going to change this to remark. Okay. So we will put whether he fail or pass or whatever. Okay. So now we are going to use the if, huh? okay? So this one again need to listen to your yeah, song, okay? Okay, now. <clears throat> now, so far when we do formula, it's quite straightforward. Okay, when you have this and this, then you have the result. Okay, but sometimes you have situations where you need to tell them if this doesn't meet the requirement, then you will look for another thing. You get what I mean? Okay, so if that's, <clears throat> we want to use a formula, right, you must have something logical. Okay, so for example, now if I'm hungry, yeah, okay, if I'm hungry, okay, you will do it. You will either cook or buy, right? Okay. So, what's the condition? If I don't have money, <laughs> you're very good. Okay. This one, no money, cannot buy. Ma. Go for the house and eat. Go for the house and eat. <laughs> okay, anyway, the, the money is the condition, right? Okay. So, this is the so called in, in the Excel one, they call it as logical test. You know what I mean? Okay. So you must tell them there's a statement. Okay, for example, you have money, then you go and buy food lah. No money, then go to mother's house to eat lah. Okay. Hey, Mister. That one not good lah. You all don't eat lah. Okay. 最近我看到一个哦，因为我们不要吃就对了啦。Okay. So this is the logical test. Okay. Now you have two options lah. One you 就吃咯 ，one you 再要啦。No money, right? Okay. So in our formula later, right, you will see they will ask you to three, uh, fill up three fields also. The first thing is the logical test. And then I'm saying, okay, I'll give you another example. So let's say now I'm thirsty, I go and drink water. If I'm not thirsty, then I continue to talk. Okay. Now, <clears throat> these are the so-called if it meets the criteria. Let's say if this one. So now I say, uh, for money, right? Okay, then I can go and eat, right? Am I correct? Volui right? just negative, ma. Volui ma, gambo. So it was just some more. Like that. So do you see that the E formula it comes with a what? First of all is logical test followed by two options, either this or another thing. You guys have some more so far? Clear, huh? Okay, now let's do this. Okay. Because we have marks, right? Look at our table. We have marks, right? So we are going to tell Excel to auto-generate the remark. <coughs> Otherwise, you need to do one by one now. I get that. Okay. Okay. Now, can we go to D two? Uh, that means equal to E open bracket. Okay. Now, for this one, it's better you click on the F X. Okay. Click on the F X. Okay. Now 
Do you want to try first before I give you the answer? Remember our passing grade? Mm. Okay, you try first. You can use the greater than, lesser than, huh? okay? Remember I told you the passing grade, there's of course I think you reason the ma with more chisu fenzanabian. Okay, so now what is the logical test? It must be greater than 75%, right? Okay, so you must tell them, okay, my marks, which is C2, greater than, if I got 75 pass or fail, that's why you need to put an equal, so, uh, including 75, ma, uh, if you put greater only then the only calculate is 76 onward okay so must put the equal so okay equals to which one e e2 am i correct but later when we use for auto fill it will run right the referencing so you need to do what huh yeah okay press f4 once to lock it and one to lock everything okay Okay, so if this is greater than, then what happened? It means pass. Uh, okay? Otherwise, you will. Do you notice that I automatically insert the punctuation for you? Which is why I say you use this box, it's easier. If you are not using this one, you can okay, okay, no. say I very advanced, I huh? don't need, huh? okay? Do you see that you need to type all this manually? Okay, that's why this box is better in Thailand. Okay, they guide you step by step. Okay, then if you want to test whether your statement is correct or not, do you see this? Pass or? Okay, that means 378, ma. Okay. Okay, so now if I click OK, it pass. Then I can double click here. Okay, everything will generate so if you are not using the E2, right, just like if you use 75, then if this one change, uh, it will not work again. Okay, let's say this one now, I drop uh, because nowadays the Cao Mei Zhu, uh, strawberry cannot make it, so I put 65. Uh, okay, you still don't see difference, right, because 15 marks. Okay, let's say I put 49, uh, so I want to make a pass also, okay, 49. You see, you automatically change. That's why it's better you use cell referencing. Understand what I'm saying now? Okay? So I put back to 75%. Huh? Mm, don't know. La. They can do that also. La. But I think they got system to do it. So they don't need to. Yeah, I know they do some operations. Yeah. Okay? So this is the if functions. Huh? Okay? That's actually is very good. Do you understand? Okay? Mm, yeah, la, true, so, la. Okay. Since this one not much of challenging, oh, okay. We got another one more challenging one coming. Okay. Now if you want you can save this, okay? Otherwise you can close it. Because that's small.
referencing ah huh? okay. okay close it and go back to your reference function worksheet Okay. Now this one, okay. I'm not sure whether I mess up this or not. Yeah, okay. I will close this first and I reopen the advanced functions. Okay. Then put something long down. Okay, go to the if worksheets. Huh? Okay, go to the if worksheets. Okay, can you look at page 22? Okay, page 22. Huh? Now the exercise here, they want you to determine the federal income tax for these people and enter this argument for a function in cell B17. Okay, B17, which is this one. Okay, so what are the logical tests? The first one, look at <coughs> your book. Huh? B14, okay, which is which one? Which four, uh, B14, huh? okay, greater than and 500, uh, okay, then they will multiply by how many? 50%, 15%, you see that? Okay, can you look at your book here? I'm talking to the wall, is it? <laughs> okay, look at page 22, okay, our uh, exercise. <laughs> okay, that means if they are, their pay uh, is 500, then they will multiply by how many? 0 0.15. Do you see that? Okay. If it is less than 500, then they will multiply with what? 0 0.1. Do you see that? Okay. Now, can you try to do it? Okay. Go to B17. Try to do this if functions. You can look at the book, page 24. It's not you use the school one first because the call the auto fill one just ignore it lah. Okay. This one you have a little bit of brain damage. I'm not sure. Okay. 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 So, if you want to see your income is more than 500, you can see how much it is. 0.15 means how many percent? Huh, Valeria? Huh, 0.15? No, it's here. 0.15 actually is how much? 15%. Ah, 15%. Okay, 0.1? 10? 0.1. 10%. Okay. Page 22, huh? Okay. The, 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 uh, 22, 22, sorry. Okay, page 22. Mm. 薪水高的人就要给15%,薪水低的人就要给18%,明白吗? 薪水低的人就要给18%,明白吗? So you can write 0 0.1 uh. mm. Your one, logical test, uh, equal and greater than. Oh, okay. Let's see, let's see, I'll count it. 
，人就是这样的哈、哦，每次找借口哈、哦。那个很多人放在旁。对呀、啊。所以老师，个 test 要放什么 ？B 4 n b r i t e r 啊哈。加，哎，等下，对，然后呢？哎，太好了，对，太烦人了。哎，然后呢？怎么办 ？B fourteen times， 嗯 ，OK。然后我错嘞 ，B fourteen 就打多少？乘多少？六百万。OK。听到吗 ，Valerie？ 你要你读 log this one？ 还是 this one？ 你要你读 log， you know why？ Because we already give them the absolute value 吗 ？five hundred 吗 ？B fourteen， 哎，看到数啦，哎。Uh, not the body, uh, not the body for all the yeah, okay. At least I already instill you the good habit, huh? The book they don't request so much, lah. You understand what I'm saying? For your work wise, of course, is locking is better. Okay. Because now you don't forget, ah. Now we only auto fill to from left to right. Just now the one is left right top bottom also need. OK， 明白吗 ？OK，So、okay. now just click and drag 咯，就係咁樣咯。明解冇大家 ？OK， 識聽冇廣東話？唔識聽你又揈頭。嗱，依個 computer 派啲又幾好 ，OK？ 嗯。Okay. Uh, can I crack your your head a bit more? Okay. Sorry, ah. Huh? Okay. Just now I teach you already, ah. Huh? Now we got exercise for you to practice, ha. Huh? Otherwise, you'll forget one, ah. Huh? I tell you. Okay. Can you go and open up your class exercise? Then go to the if basic. Okay. Go and do up this one. Yeah, okay. Huh? Yeah. 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 No lah. You look at the ne. Look at the conditions below. Okay. Below, there are things there. Okay, but don't don't look at the answer first lah. Okay, no challenge. Oh. Anyway, today you all, 如果这个难关过完了，明天就比较容易了啦，哦 ，OK， 明天的没有这样复杂了。I'll go to the basic one first. Okay, so this is quite straightforward. Okay, so how can we do it? Equals to If okay, open brackets. Okay, now <clears throat> the five hundred it is lesser than five hundred, right? Okay, so the rows pairs will be here, and then less than how many? Five hundred, ah. Okay, now do you notice that until now I didn't use a box, so if you were to type, okay, if you were to type, ah. Okay, let's say the gross pay, ah, uh, which is B fourteen, right? And how much? How many percentage? And am I correct? Emma. Okay. Now it's still okay because this one is not tax. You understand what I'm saying? Because I didn't use the inverted commas. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen? If it's more than 
greater than Ah, uh, okay. Okay, we will find Okay, so is there any error here? No, because all this is there any text. No text. This is all values. Okay. So you see, it works. Okay. So the rest is the same. Ah, uh, I just put Okay, but this one, because you see, they include the wording. That's why you must include the hyphen also. Okay, so in this case, okay, more inspection, okay, equals to what? If open bracket, and then, okay, okay, now see, exceeded the trend, the trends, huh? so that means this one, okay, exceeded is this one, right? Greater than, right? okay, greater than this one, okay, then I will need to show up. Yes, so you need to expect, inspect more. Okay, this one is no. Okay, you notice that when I click away, eh, the punctuation will automatically include it. Okay, so now if I click OK, yes. Okay, what about this one? Okay, if open bracket, okay. If yes, uh, okay, okay, so I'll put up this one first to be safe. Okay, so what's the logical test? Okay, equals to, and then, okay, because this is text, it's not value. Look also value to be on okay, okay. Now next one, so what happened? Increase the frequency, that means this one has to do what? This one? Okay. And then, otherwise, you mean, yeah. So the case is as to normal, okay? Okay, so now if I click OK, now it's the yellow. Okay, so I come to my am I? Okay. Can I? 